If you're a homeowner about to get a new roof, most likely your old roof is gonna get taken off. So in this video, we're gonna talk about five things you need to know to help you prepare for your shingle roof tear off. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. Well today, we are talking about shingle roof tear-offs. The expectations you should have, what the process is going to be like, and how to prepare your property for the shingle tear-off day. First thing that we need to talk about is the actual process of the roof tear-off. The better you understand that, the better you'll be able to prepare for the actual day. So the installers will come, they'll bring a dumpster, maybe several depending on the property and the installer. They'll use tools to rip up the shingles, the nails, flashings, underlayment, everything that'll go into the dumpster. The time frame that it will take will depend on the size of the house, is the, the square footage of the actual roof surface, the flashing zones, design of the house. You know, if there's more flashings, it might take a while. If there's more square footage, it might take longer as well. The actual removal of the shingles will allow the installer to have access to your roof decking. Now this is important for a couple different reasons. If the roof decking is rotting in areas, that can be replaced. They'll be able to assess that and let you know if uh, you need plywood replaced underneath your roof. Also, it'll allow them to level out any uneven areas. The roof behind me has a lot of waves and dips. It's an older roof, it's settled over time. So the installers are going to fix that and make sure there's a nice even level surface for the new roof to go on. Second thing for you to know to help you prepare for your shingle roof tear off is prepare your property. So this means clear the sidewalks around the house, the driveway, anything that will hinder the contractor's ability to enter or exit your property, anything that will hinder their ability to move around the workspace safely. Also, you wanna remove any yard ornaments or things that might get broken right around the perimeter of your house because debris will be coming off of uh, the roof and into the dumpsters and you don't want anything to fall on something and, and get broken. The same goes for like potted plants or shrubberies, uh, anything in your flower beds. If you can't physically move it, then covering them with tarps is a good idea. You're gonna to wanna to discuss this with your contractors. Sometimes they'll be able to do it for you, um, or sometimes you'll just need to prep that yourself. But that's really important to make sure that no debris falls on anything important, uh, and you can make sure you have a safe and effective shingle roof tear off. Also, once the shingles get torn off, let's say a piece of that roof decking does need to be replaced, some plywood needs to be replaced. If you have attic space under there, and you have items in your attic, you might wanna move those out of the way because they could potentially get um, you know, sawdust on them, debris might fall on that particular area, so you could either cover those or remove those uh, from your attic or move them out of the way as well if you have to have some decking replaced. Third thing to help you prepare is make sure you know what's gonna happen during the actual tear off. Talk with your contractor about where their workspace is gonna be actually defined, where they're gonna to store tools and equipment, where the dumpster is gonna go, where they can park, so that you know during the tear off where everything is located to keep you safe. Make sure you know where debris will be coming off the roof, make sure you know where the dumpsters are located, and tell everyone in your household so you don't have kids or pets coming out the back door or the front door maybe running around creating a hazard or maybe being uh, in danger from falling debris, something like that. So make sure you talk with your installers, know what's gonna happen, when it's gonna happen, to keep everybody safe and keep everybody moving on schedule. Fourth thing to help you prepare, know what's gonna happen after your roof tear off. Keep in mind that tear-offs can potentially take multiple days, depending on your installer, depending on your building's design, square footage, things like that. So if an area is left exposed overnight, the contractors will use tarps to cover that area to temporarily uh, shield it from the elements while they're not working on it. Also, uh, after the shingles are removed, the decking will be assessed and that's when a new uh, plywood will be installed and the roof deck will be put into plane. After that, underlayment goes up. It's called drying in your roof. Now this will temporarily seal your roof from the elements, keep it safe until the new roof gets put on uh, and you can have a brand new roof protecting your, your home from the elements. Again, if this step isn't completed by the end of the day, a contractor will put 
tarps over that area, protect it from the elements temporarily. Last thing, number five, to help you prepare for your shingle roof tear off is the cleanup. After the roof is removed, the contractor should clean up any debris, anything left behind. So everything will be in the dumpster, but they'll also take away the tarps uh, that were there. In the gutters, there might be granules or loose nails. Those should be cleaned out by the contractor as well. Also, they'll go around the house with a magnet and pick up any loose metal, nails, pieces of flashing, whatever that maybe fell on your yard and they weren't able to capture that and put that in the dumpster before. They'll go around with a magnet and make sure that's cleaned up. Then after that, it's on to your new roof and you're all done with your roof removal. Hope this was helpful and hope you learned something. Good luck with your project. Comment down below if you have any questions. I'd love to talk with you. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel and as always, I'm Thad Barnett. We'll catch you next time.